Hey everyone, and welcome back to Civilization 6 Gathering Storm. So, we are now at war with Scotland, and I think we'll just go directly for their capital. That's the easiest city to capture from our perspective. And two trebuchets should actually be enough. I guess we'll find out. So, let's move in. Might as well do that. Maybe kill that warrior first. Don't give them a chance to upgrade him, that would be bad. We will be in bombardment range of the city. So actually, just leave him be like this. And I'll stay out of bombardment range. Alright, we'll move in with our trebuchets right away. This shouldn't take too long, especially with the bonus from our unique governor. That's the promotion we already picked up, this one. Grants all units within 10 tiles of the city center, plus 10 combat strength when attacking defensible districts. So that's a bonus for all our units. Alright, the horsemen can go down here. We do have one more trebuchet coming up, just in case two of them will not be enough. Okay. Oh yeah, and I think I'm going to build Temple of Artemis in Bersa, because we actually have a good tile for it right here. It will take a while, but that's okay. We can give it a bit of a boost with a trader. And I could use a road to Bersa anyway. Alright, that will do. So let's see what Scotland is going to do. I think the horseman is our weakest unit right now. So let's maybe back up with that. We still got this barbarian camp to deal with. But that will have to wait. Oh great, now we have another barbarian camp. Well, alright then. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, what happened? Oh, Scotland stole Hadosa from us. Well, that's a little bit annoying. I can try to get it back. But first I would like to finish Divine Right to get Monarchy. Oh well, that's a bit unfortunate, but I guess we'll live with it. Where do we go now? Definitely not here. Send one guy to our capital. Yeah, I'll have to rely on internal trade routes for a bit. Not much I can do about that. Oh well, I guess that's what we're going to do. It's temporary. However, it will affect our income significantly. Well, that's another reason to get this done quickly, so let's get started. How much damage is that going to be? Yep, that's not bad, not bad at all. With a second trebuchet, this should go pretty quickly. Meanwhile, we can attack the warrior. Where are the pikemen? <laughs> because they did have pikemen. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, it's just a little bit strange. Uh, let's send this fella to our other city because it has low production. And it's actually kind of tempting to build the oracle. It's not the most useful wonder ever, but we would get more great person points. Or we could build a theater square right here on the desert, because that desert is going to be fairly useless otherwise. I mean, it is a hill, so I could build a mine, but I'd rather get a district. As an alternative, we could also build it down here. Because that tile will not be amazing either. That might be a better alternative. Okay, let's do that then. And then we can still use that desert hill for a wonder. Either Oracle or something else. It's pretty tempting, we will get more great person points if we do that. Let's actually give it a shot, why not? We'll build that and then theater square down here. Sounds good. And if we want to build that particular wonder, it should be in our highest population city. Because then it will be able to get more districts and more great person point types will benefit from the oracle. Anyway, right, let's pillage that to heal ourselves. And we'll stay fortified. I could finish off the warrior, but I don't really want to move. He's not exactly afraid. Uh, do we want to sell horses? I assume our unique unit requires horses, does it? Let's double check. It probably does, but not all of them though. Oh no, it actually requires iron. 
So we do not need horses. Right, because that replaces the knight. Yes, yes, barbarians approach. I'm aware of that. I think we can kill him. Yeah, we can kill him easily. And then we'll have to get rid of that barbarian camp. Oh well, I guess we will do that. So, wait, what? Did someone already build Temple of Artemis? I think they did. Or did they? I mean, that's fine. Let's just do something else instead. Like build an industrial zone. Down here? Yep. Okay, yeah, sounds good to me. Let's do that. That won't even take so long. Oh, great, a scout. We should be fine with the horseman. I can't imagine a scout will kill a horseman. Even a horseman with 20 health only. No, it should be fine. So, back to the siege. Let's do this. There's the pikeman approaching. And also a scout. Well, the scout is certainly not a problem. Not sure what exactly he's trying to achieve, but alright. And maybe we should move that swordsman. Or we can switch them around. Because this guy is a little bit too exposed. Here, that will do. We might be able to take it right now. Yeah, I think we can take it right now, literally. With this guy, because he's already wounded. There it is! That was a pretty quick siege. However, the bonuses we are getting are pretty damn good, so that's why it was so quick. The Great Turkish Bombard combined with our unique governor bonus. So, what do we have in here? We got an industrial zone. We got a holy site and a commercial hub. Also, Stonehenge and a Temple Wonder. That's not super useful, is it? No. Well, it's kind of useful. It will give us some extra faith, which we will be able to spend later in the game. It's not completely useless. Do we need to repair anything? Yes, most likely. Loyalty will not be a problem. Uh, we do have one loyalty policy, right? Uh, oh no, we don't. Okay then, so we will be fine. Okay, let's continue. I think I'll take the other city as well, because it has Niter. Oh nice, plus two error score. Well, go us. Let's play it safe here. We might want to kill that pikeman. Definitely a good idea. That third trebuchet probably won't be necessary, but we'll get it anyway. It's almost done. Okay, next. Monarchy is coming in two turns. Yep, they are attacking, as you might expect. And we got some promotions. Battle cry. And let's do the damage. So we got two pikemen and a warrior. Something like this. I don't think I can finish him off safely. No, let's stay fortified. We are out of range of city bombardment, so we are safe. How's the horseman? He's healing up. We should probably move back into our territory. And the other horseman is ready. Oh, that's a pikeman. Yeah, that's not safe. Also, it's a heal. Yeah. If I attack him, I will get killed. So, we'll have to wait with that. And here's another pikeman. Oh well. We'll deal with that later. We got better things to do at the moment. So we could actually maybe take the third city as well, but let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. I would however like to have a direct border with Scythia. There's Divine Right, so now we can grab Loyalty. That will also give us plus one housing per level of walls, which is not too bad. And plus 50% influence points. I would like to get Hatusa back. 
And what are we going to pick up? We don't need a professional army right now. Oh, we could get a bonus to our unique unit production. That's not a bad idea. And I guess we can get rid of professional army. We don't need it anymore. And then what? We could get more strategic resources. I can always sell them. I assume Scythia will still buy them. Maybe, maybe not. Plus 30% production bonus towards encampment, district buildings. We might actually need that because I haven't built an armory yet. And I would definitely like to get one. So let's get that. And one more policy. What is that going to be? Plus two gold from all trade routes. We obviously need that. And I'm keeping serfdom for now. Okay, this looks reasonable. Okay, sure, let's do that. Okay, and now we can build an armory. Here, we definitely want one. And once we finish the oracle, we'll get our unique unit. We should try to build Terracotta army. But Konya is the only city that can do it. And I would like to get the armory. 27 turns. Yeah, that's a little bit much. I don't know about that. Technically, I could just build the encampment in my capital and then build Terracotta army in my capital. I'm not entirely convinced it would be a good idea, but it is technically an option. Either way, let's maybe get a quick builder first, after the oracle, and then we'll get our unique unit. And we still need a trader. I think that might have to wait after the workshop. Here. We need more traders, actually. Well, let's just get one. So, what's next? Probably medieval first, because we will boost that. In fact, hold on. Let's get a trader after the oracle. Then our unique unit, and then a builder. Remove the builder, because that will take too long. Alright. That's fine. So, carry on. Let's finish this business, shall we? Shouldn't take too long. Bye bye. He's not dead yet. Now he's dead. And the other pikemen. Now we can heal up our crossbowmen. And move the trebuchet. Here, I don't want to be in city bombardment range just yet. The plan is to move in with all the trebuchets at once. That's exactly what we'll do, yeah. All our units are out of city bombardment range still. Let's keep it that way, the horsemen can move into the city. And once we take the city, we'll decide whether we want to continue or not. The purpose of education. There's education, but this skirmisher definitely can't deal with the pikemen on his own. Yeah, we need something other than a horseman in this area. But I'm kind of busy at the moment. I might have to speed this up and get some other unit. Like a quick swordsman, even. Anything, really. A quick swordsman would be fine. And actually, I'm not that desperate to build an oracle, so let's grab a swordsman really quick. He can get there pretty quickly because we got a road now. So, swordsman, and then we'll finish the oracle. As for research, yeah, castles, because then we can get Corsair and Long Swordsman. And also Alhambra is a nice wonder. And then Medieval Walls. That's another level of walls, which means more housing. Okay, back to Stirling. Yeah, Ancient Walls for housing, if nothing else. And we probably want walls in here regardless. Good news is, it's a coastal city, so that's definitely going to be useful. We need to get some ships on this side of the continent, and then explore the area. But first, let's at least get walls. And I think we can move in. Let's still stay out of range for one more turn. 
Oh, and we got a promotion. Nice. Hold on. That's going to be crew weapons. And then shells. Okay, we can move in on the next turn. Oh, here's another city. Well then. Okay, I suppose we could move in now. Alright, fine. We'll be in a bombardment range of some city. Might as well just move in then. And we can start attacking right away. Here. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Yeah. I can almost destroy the fortification right now. Okay then. That's going to be a pretty easy siege right there. I almost feel sorry for them, but not really. It's their own damn fault. They are blocking our expansion. So clearly they had it coming. Okay, time to back up. How about we kill this fella? Well, no. How about we take the city? Can we take the city? Right now? I think we might be able to. Yeah, we can. Just to make sure we'll attack one more time. There. Now we can definitely take it. There it is. That gives us one nighter. Obviously keep the city. It's a pretty good one with eight population. And can we kill the warrior? Yeah, he's already dead. Nice. Back up slightly, just in case. And I think we'll go for more. I don't see why we shouldn't. It's more nighter. Also ivory. I wonder if these are his last two cities. No, he has three more cities. So we could take these two cities and leave him with one. Because I don't want to eliminate him completely. Because when you eliminate a sieve, all other sieves get grievances towards you. So I would prefer to avoid that if possible. And yeah, I still need to get rid of that barbarian camp, but I can't really do that right now. I suppose we could send one swordsman in this direction. Before they spawn a raid or something like that. It's not like we need three swordsmen here. We most certainly do not. Let's repair all of these. Maybe monument first, because that's loyalty. And we'll build walls after all of that. Alright then. Well, that was a pretty quick war. <laughs> and a slightly one-sided war. But the Ottomans are just so good at this. I mean, we are getting a double bonus for our siege units right now. One from the Great Turkish Bombard and the other one from Ibrahim. Is he still in range of ire? One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, he's in range. I don't think he's in range of Dombarton, but I can always move him. We might as well move him, I don't see why we shouldn't. He's giving us a bonus to military unit production, but I'm not currently building any military units in there. So let's just move him. Then we can get a bonus towards Dumbarton. Sounds good to me. So, hold on. Yeah, this one. Not that it makes a difference. Off you go. I don't think the gala is very useful. No. More promotions. So that's going to be Arrow Storm. And here's another one. Crew weapons again. And let's try to kill that scout, maybe. I think we can do it. Hold on, first attack with the horseman and then with the swordsman. There, nice. And we even got a promotion. Alright then. Yeah, I definitely can't touch that pikeman with a horseman. The horseman will get killed if I do that. We can heal for one turn, that's okay. And let's move in. No, let's wait one turn. Then we can move in with all the trebuchets simultaneously. Yep. Sounds good to me. Scotland is pretty screwed at this point. Here's another World Congress. Yeah, I will vote against that. Then again, even if Scythia declares war on us, it won't affect us too much. But I still don't want this to pass. 
Okay, it passed. Oh, well, whatever. Did Cynthia vote for it? Uh, she actually did. Okay, fine. I mean, technically, that's a good thing. Because we'll get 200 diplomatic favor. But now we are also at war with Scythia. So we might want to watch our backs. We need that wall to finish. I'm not too worried, we'll be fine. Another scout. Let the skirmisher heal for one more turn. Okay. So. Let's take more cities, shall we? This should be pretty quick. There is a pikeman inside. Oh, I can't attack from here because that's a hill. Or is it? Well, whatever it is, I can't attack from over there. Slightly unfortunate. Okay, it will be a little bit slower than I thought. But that's fine, it will still be ours. And it looks like it has a campus. That's definitely a good thing, because we need more campuses. I actually neglected science a little bit. Which is not great. We'll need to catch up slightly once we're done with this. Our unique unit is coming up, that will give us some era score, if nothing else. We need 71 for normal age, 83 for golden age. I might try to get a golden age, but it's going to be hard. We'll see about that. Oh, the Pac-Man left the city. Good. We might be able to kill him. At least we can do some good damage. Yeah, we can kill him. He is basically dead. Well, there's another Pac-Man right behind him. So this might not be the smartest idea ever. If I kill him, I'll be left with around 50 health. Then we'll take damage from city bombardment, from the archer, from the pikeman, and from the warrior to the north, possibly. Because there's a road. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just stay here and fortify. Still need to get rid of the barbarians. It's fine, we're coming. Calm down. You are not going to report back, sorry. There it is. I want to sneak past that pikeman, but that might not be a good idea. We can at least maybe get a flanking bonus once our swordsman moves in. Oh yeah, we are at war with Hatosa. Can we get Hatosa back? Hold that fort, we got castles. So that unlocks the Corsair and the Long Swordsman. We still have professional army, right? Uh, no, we don't. Let's wait for that then. We can get it in... Hold on. We could get Medieval Thirds boosted. I think it's a little bit too late for that now, it's only two turns away. Wait, well, that boosted? That yeah, it will! Oh, there it is! Who do not think so, we wasted one turn there, but oh well. Have cheated a I was a little bit busy with all the fighting. That unlocks Medina Quarter, Aesthetics, and the Merchant Confederation. And the Barbary Corsair. Right, we want professional army. I don't think we need veterans anymore. Well, we kind of do. But I don't think we'll lose more than one turn of construction now. We could also swap out Shivari. No, let's swap out veterans. Because that was specifically for that one single armory. And we'll take professional army. I am still keeping everything else. So, there it is. Okay, five turns on the armory, that's fine. And that's 95 gold. Okay, we can afford that. So now they will be way more useful. Now it should be fine against the pikemen. Promotion. Let's move back into our territory first. Right, I don't think I have enough money for everything. Oh, now Setia is also coming. That's going to be a little bit annoying. I'm just saying. Yeah, just slightly. How do we handle this? 
Yeah, this is actually going to be a little bit tricky. I think I needed a crossbowman near Stirling. Just to defend. We are about to finish the city walls, so that's good. We kind of need those. And we are also at war with Hatosa. I was going to check if we can get Hatosa back, but we cannot. 12 envoys, yeah, okay. So I guess that will not be happening in the near future. Unfortunately. Okay, I want to move the crossbowman, but I need to move the trebuchet first. This is actually going to be a little bit tricky. Is that a wonder? Yeah, that's a Colosseum. Nice. Now the swordsman. I think we can take the city, actually. Hold on, can we? Not yet. We can definitely do it on the next turn, however. And kill the swordsman. It should be safe now. Let's kill him. Here. We got 57 health. That should be enough. And what's the next research going to be? Gunpowder. Yeah, then we'll unlock Janissary. That's a really good unit. The downside is that if we recruit him in our own city, we lose population. But that's fine. We captured plenty of cities. So that's not going to be a problem. And we will finish the armory in five turns, so that will be perfect timing. City walls, if only for population. We got 189 gold. Yeah, gold is going to be a bit of a problem. Because I can't really send trade routes anywhere other than my own cities. We'll just have to deal with it for now. We'll focus a bit more on exploration once we're done with this war. Next up, I'm thinking guilds. Let's get guilds. I will not be building two markets. And fortify. So, let's finish this. That was a little bit close. Oh no, he died. Oh well, that's fine. So now we can capture the city, I think. Can we though? Yeah, we can. Can we hold it? That's an important question. Shame about that swordsman, but I can live with that. Okay. Let's grab the promotion. Crew weapons, that's a good one. And how's Sterling doing? The city walls are done, so now we can actually defend properly. Garrison. Yeah, we will be fine. And a workshop. I think I might end this war. Wait, we can't end the war, can we? Because there's an active emergency. Well, hold on. No, we can't. Okay, whatever. I guess we'll be staying at war for a while. Good news is, we will get 200 diplomatic favor once it's over. I think it's fine to capture it right now. I'm a little bit worried they might be able to recapture it. But I don't think they can. It's kind of hard to tell. The problem is that we don't have too many melee units now. Promotion first. Yeah, let's send the Corsair back here. I might wait one more turn. It's not like he can do a whole lot of damage. We got 67 health. I'm going to wait one more turn. We can kill more units that way, before capturing the city. Yeah, I still can't get Hatosa back, so there's no point sending envoys right now. They will achieve literally nothing. Promotion again. And we need to get rid of the barbarian camp. We'll get a little bit of gold out of it. And also era score. Yep, they moved in, so now we can kill them. Uh, that was a little bit too close. Yeah, now we should probably take the city. I do have a promotion, so I could heal myself. Probably best to take the city, though. There's a wounded pikeman inside. 
Okay, just to make sure we'll take it, let's attack it first. And there it is. Oh, nice, I wonder. What the heck is this wonder? Rises a great somber street. Free time, natural wonder. Adjacent plus yield, no plus one culture, and plus one science. Oh, that's nice. None ever Naval units there. trained in a city that no owns at least one of these styles. In. Start with a free promotion. Oh, that is really nice. I like that. Well then. Here we are. Now we need to defend. We'll see how that goes. So I could hire Victor and send him here. Then we would get a combat bonus. That is not a bad idea. I might actually do that. Yeah, let's do that. It's not a bad plan. It will help us defend and we will be at war for a while. Because of this emergency. We just need to give him three turns now. Which hopefully won't be too hard. Well, this has been a pretty interesting war. I like it. Now, courts are in here, then we can move the crossbowmen and attack. Okay, looking good. I can kill both. Yeah, finish off the warrior. There it is. So let's see if we can defend the city. If we can't, I can just recapture it again with a courser. My only concern is that we are a little bit low on melee units. I could send this guy, but I kind of want to get rid of the barbarian camp. Promote. Once we get rid of the barbarian camp, it should be fine. You're not dead yet? Well, now you are. Yeah, he had literally one health. That happens. What's next? Workshop? Obviously, I guess. And send the swordsman first. Apparently the pikeman took some damage. Oh, he took damage from us earlier. He wants to make peace. I might actually accept that. But we can do it on our turn instead. I can kill a few more units. Oh, oh, hold on. I think the Corsair survived with one health. Okay. Well, that works to our advantage sometimes, apparently. Earn double points towards great people of this class. Let's vote for great scientist or something. Even though I don't have a lot of composites, but I would still like to get some great scientists. Or great engineer. That might be a little bit better. Okay, and the next one. Plus 100% production towards buildings in this district. Okay. Which one do we want? Industrial zone? Will it pass? City center. Yeah, city center is fine. That will work with city walls and things like that. That is actually quite useful. Great Admiral. That is also useful because we are getting quite a lot of Great Admiral points, right? Plus 4 error score from our unique unit. Yeah, we should be getting Great Admiral points. Where is the Great Admiral? Right here. Yeah, we are getting points. So, back to business. Oh, where are you guys going? Leaving already? There, and where is that archer going? I don't think so, buddy. Yeah, let's pick up the promotion first. Volley. And move our great general. Not yet. Move the courser, because he's almost dead. That would be unfortunate. He survived with literally one health, from the looks of it. He'll be safe here. That's out of range of everything. These barbarian camps are really getting on my nerves. I guess the skirmisher is not needed. Need more housing. Yeah, no shit. I'm aware of that, thanks. You were not able to complete the oracle in time. 102 production has been salvaged. Yeah, that's fine. We'll grab a university. How are we doing on science, anyway? Yeah, not that great, as you can see. I'll have to catch up a little bit once we're done with this. 
Hold on, let's send the trader somewhere else. Let's maybe get a road from here. Yep, sounds good. Then again, there's already a road. So, do we want to finish this war right now or not? I think it's best if we focus on Scythia, and we already have a direct border here. It is a bit of a choke point, but we do have a direct border. I think it's best if we peace out with Scotland and focus on Scythia. Yeah, let's attack the pikemen. Come on now. We need walls in here quickly, and we need Victor. Oh, and if we peace out with Scotland, we will not be at war with Hattusa. Alright, let's do it. I don't think he will give us a whole lot. Obviously the cities we captured. Maybe we can get some gold. We could get a luxury. Wait, don't we already have amber? Apparently not. Yeah, no, we already have amber. We don't need that then. Let's get some gold. Yeah, it will not be a whole lot, but you know what? That's fine. Here, 258 gold. Accept. Here, enjoy. 400 grievances against us. I wonder why. No idea. But now we are not at war with Hatosa anymore. Now we can focus on Scythia. We could maybe even go on the offensive. That will depend on a few things. Like how many units they will throw at us. And how hard it will be to get past this choke point. For now, we'll focus on defense. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.